This is Dennis Seatsma, Homestead, Florida, USA, in Panama City, Florida, USA, Lynn Haven, etc. Today's video log, uh, I think I got the power steering leak, uh, the lip seal that was leaking on the hydro boost. I think I got that repaired, and the AC seems to be working pretty good. Uh, I'm still a, uh, a can short on fully charging it, but I want to do more work on the AC before I say uh, I want to replace the accumulator before I say that's finished. Uh, some projects you never finish. But anyway, uh, here with my boat, I'm going to work on the boat today. I'm going to run the engine just to run it. And I'm going to install this uh, flame flower high performance coil from Pertronics. And uh, there's some debate about what's the right part number. Uh, I trust the guy that sold it to me that this is the right part number 40511 There's another one that's similar to it, and uh, I think the part numbers are just different whether it's black or chrome or and there's uh, Some other technical differences, but I think they're all the same This has got the 3 ohm resistor internal Because some have the co uh, resistor and some don't the older engines have a resistance link wire from the battery to the positive side of the coil that fails when you leave the key on uh, too long without the engine running like any Charles Kettering 1912 vintage um, ignition system you can't leave the key on or you'll burn up the coil if you leave the key on accidentally too long and it's with or without the resistor but the resistor wire is hard to find because it's in the engine harness and when it fails people don't know the part number or they don't know how, they could locally fabricate a resistance wire but I tell people just take the resistance wire out and uh, replace it with a marine grade wire like 16 American wire gauge or 14 American wire gauge and get this coil or a coil like it. I think online you can get this coil for like twelve dollars in brand X from China but uh, most people want quality parts in their marine equipment because tow getting towed back is really expensive so the next video segment uh, we'll hook up the water and we'll run the engine and uh, I'm gonna move the boat and cut the grass and get it ready for tie down because it's August 15th, 2022. This is the peak of hurricane season. Or really, Labor Day is. Some of the worst hurricanes in southeast Florida have occurred. So I could lose everything in a hurricane. And there's no stopping it except to remove the equipment from the affected area. And that's impossible to do when a hurricane's bearing down and most, most uh, people prefer to shelter in place. Uh, I'm, I'm not staying for another hurricane. I've been through too many of them because you lose the everything's great when the AC's on and you got all your entertainment what it, but when the power goes out and the winds pick up and everything starts howling and you hear all those banging and crashing noises outside you it get it's really frightening. So I'm not staying for another one if I have a chance to get away. Uh, I will not be here for another category 5 hurricane. Thank you very much. Anyway, hope you're enjoying my video and video series, and uh, you can subscribe if you like or, or share this video. There's a way to share the video pretty easy uh, if you like it and think anything is useful here. And I uh, hope you enjoy the video.